welcome back to Redneck Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, folks, I'm going to keep this brief just because I don't need to be wasting time um, on a dime. But there's a new Kit Kat again. They're doing another Duos flavor. The last two I've still seen around on, in store shelves. I don't know if they're technically still part of the lineup or what, but the last two were mint and dark chocolate and then there was mocha and chocolate i think it's just regular chocolate but i can't remember for sure i just know that there were two other duos flavors so this time around their duos flavors a little bit later to the party because they kind of wanted to put it in with uh, valentine's day and uh, all that candy because it kind of really does have that vibe but this time the duos is strawberry dark chocolate so look at that look at that you can see that it's strawberry and dark chocolate and there is your thumbnail so we're just going to go ahead and review this please go ahead and like comment share and subscribe check out my instagram Renex snack so they typically do about three new Kit Kat flavors uh, in this version, the regular bar version a year. Last year, if I remember correctly, uh, I guess technically the mint one counts. Well, not the mint, sorry. Technically the mocha one counts. And then they had fruity cereal bar. And I'm drawing a blank on the other one. There was a third one that they had, but I can't remember. It was that... Maybe it was Key Lime. I think last year's was Key Lime as well. So those were the three that I remember, if I'm correct. Key Lime, I haven't seen a lot of that. I don't know if it did so well in performance, but I've seen a lot of the Fruity Kit Kat, which I'm sure didn't sell all too well either. These flavors are kind of bold, so people kind of get scared to try them. But you don't care about that, do you? You care about what's here and now, and that is the new chocolate dark chocolate strawberry duos kit kat so without further ado you know i actually like that like it's kind of artificial But the flavor is strong and bold. So to be fair, I think it deserves an eight. I think it's pretty good. It's not overly artificial by any means. Well, nah, I, no, eight's fine. I think eight's a fine rating. Just because, again, I wouldn't say it's the perfect strawberry chocolate thing that I've had. I've had some better. You know, a chocolate dipped strawberry is always the best. You ever have to talk about chocolates and strawberries, that's the best. You're not going to beat that. But for what this is, the strawberry flavor really performs really nicely. It's really well done. With that dark chocolate, it's not overly sweet, but it's not overly bitter either. It's got that nice combination of the two flavors. And it works. It works well. So I definitely recommend this one, especially if you like if you like strawberry and chocolate as a combination. Um, this is really throwing me back to earlier in the week when I reviewed the Neapolitan cookie from Crumble. It does kind of have those artificial aspects to them in a way, but but I think I can definitely taste the natural flavor here, and it's strong. The caramel cookie, it, the cream cheese just takes over, and it's just way too bad. I gotta take that phone call. I hope you enjoy this review, and I will see y'all around.